Hello and welcome to Zoplay's Legend of Grimrock. A friend of mine tried this game out and he liked it so much that he said that all dungeon crawler games should aspire to be like this one. Consider me interested. Now so far all I know about this game is that you have four characters in your party and combat and all other movement are is grid based. So you can only move forward, backwards, left and right. And there are a lot of puzzles to figure out. So spoiler alert, you're going to see the solutions to puzzles in this series. So let's start a new game. There's easy, normal and hard. I'm going to be doing normal difficulty. You can choose to use predetermined party members or create your own. So I am going to create my own. You can actually import from existing save games, but you have to be playing a user created dungeon to do that. There's also an old school mode, which turns off auto mapping. Uh, it says arm yourself with a stack of grid paper and pencils and be prepared to get lost in the dungeons. Beware, you can't change the setting after starting the game. Don't think I want that. I'll stick with auto mapping. Now here's a character generation screen. There's four races to choose from. Humans, Minotaurs, Lizardmen, and Insectoids. Uh, humans get four skill points as their, you know, their specialty. Minotaurs get um, changes to their stats. So plus five strength and minus four dexterity, minus four vitality, minus three willpower, and but only one skill point. And they uh, use up 20% more food. Now, lizard men get plus two dexterity, minus one willpower, and they only have three skill points. And insectoids, minus two strength, minus, plus one dexterity, minus two vitality, plus four willpower, three skill points, and they don't consume as much food. Now, I'm thinking it's probably good to have a mixture, but. I really want to do a group of four humans for some reason. So that's what I'm going to do. There's three classes to choose from, Fighter, Mage, and Rogue. Uh, the main stats are Strength, Dexterity, Vitality, Willpower, as seen in the info about those, the different races. Strength uh, affects at attack power and carrying capacity, so you can see a max load, 45 kilograms. Dexterity affects accuracy and evasion. Vitality affects health points. And is there anything else? Oh, helps to get rid of harmful conditions. Willpower affects uh, your ability to manipulate arcane powers. And it affects the amount of energy points gained. And energy points is uh, energy is the ability to act. Stren strenuous activities such as special attacks and spellcasting consume energy and running out of energy prevents these actions. Willpower affects the number of energy points gained at first and subsequent character levels. So that helps with uh, a mage casting magic, but from what I'm reading, it also affects a fighter's ability to do a slashing attack or something. There's four different resists, fire, cold, poison, shock. And you got skills and these, these change based on the class and then traits. But I shall get to those when I start creating them, which is right now. So our first character, I'm going to go with this portrait. I have decided to name him Conrad. I went through and wrote all this down. So, And his stats are... 13 Strength, 14 Dexterity, 2 Vitality, and 1 Willpower. So he is a well-rounded fighter. In his skills, he is... Wow, misreading this stuff. He's got 3 points in Athletics. Now what does Athletics do? This skill represents the time spent in exercising your physique. Spending points in this skill increases your physical ability score. 
and then he has a point in swords because humans get to do four skill points. Swords is, the skill represents your character's training with swords. By increasing this skill, your attack power, accuracy, and chance of performing special attacks increases. The aforementioned bonuses apply only when fighting with a sword. Now that's basically the exact same thing for maces and axes. And unarmed combat. So in his traits, he is agile. He's a really good at combat. Says your reflexes are exceptional, plus two to dexterity. And Conrad has gone to sword training school. He's skilled. Skilled gives you three more skill points. And all of it goes into swords. So that's the first character. Meet Conrad. Next character is... Montauk. He is also a fighter. And his stats are... 16 strength. 10 dexterity, 4 vitality, and 10 willpower. This guy is one tough dude. He will bash your head in, and you won't be able to do much to him because he's got some good health. His skills consist of knowing about armor and maces. One of his traits is aggressive. He is full of rage, plus four attack power. And, let's see, and he is tough. He was resistant to physical punishment, plus 15 to health. So now he's got 85 health. How much does Conrad have? Conrad only has 65. So he is gonna bash some skulls in. Third human is Victor, and that's the icon I'm going to use for him. He is a rogue, and his stats are 10 strength, 16 dexterity, 3, oh, 13 vitality, and 11 willpower. His skills, his one skill, is using missile weapons. This includes... Slings, bows, and crossbows. His first trait is that he is agile. And that uh, gives plus two dexterity. He has really good reflexes. And his other trait is evasive. He, uh, he knows better to stay away from harm because he's an archer. Plus seven to evasion. Let's see, everything, okay, everything is spent up till now. Fourth character is going to be that portrait, and her name is Asha. She is a mage, and her stats are 10 strength, 10 dexterity, 14 vitality, and 16 willpower. She is a fire mage her tr first trait is aura and that uh, gives plus 15 more energy to spend on the magic spells and Asha was trained by a great wizard she is skilled plus three more skill points and he taught her spellcraft now, spellcraft uh, represents your overall progress yeah, Spellcraft skill represents your overall progress in the way of magic. Advancing in this skill enables you to cast more spells before exhausting your energy reserve, which she has 82 of. By comparison, the rogue has 52 energy, uh, and the fighters have 50 and 52. So I think that is it. Yes? No? Maybe? So? Yes. Why can't I start the game? What have I done? Oh, okay, I can start. Alright, Conrad, Montauk, Victor, and Asha. Let's begin. I 
I've never gone past the character generation screen. A towering spire looms above the clouds, a weathered rock that has stood tall for ages, longer than the histories of men have been written. It is a desolate place now, only remembered when things need to be discarded and forgotten. An airship struggles to gain altitude as it floats toward the peak. Four prisoners bound by heavy chains emerge from the ship. The court accuses them of terrible, treasonous deeds. But by the grace of the king, their crimes shall be forgiven atop Mount Grimrock. Their final trial is at hand. Numerous prisoners have received their pardons here, yet none have returned to live their life in freedom. They are at the very top of the world, and below them only darkness and justice awaits. As they are plunged down the open maw at the peak, their crimes are absolved. Everyone before them has perished in the guts of the mountain, but will you be able to lead them through the dark and to the freedom that awaits at the base of Mount Grimrock. Grimrock. <laughs> messed up on the very last word. I probably messed up other ones too. Legend of Grimrock. First time playing Grimrock? A tutorial is available from the pause menu, accessible by pressing escape. Um. I probably should do that, because I don't know, I don't even know if I can move with WASD or I have to use arrow keys, so tutorial? Oh, okay. Party in marching order. You control a party of four prisoners. Prisoners walk in a square formation with a front and a back row. Only the front row can perform melee attacks. Use WASD to move and Q and E to turn. Portraits and item slots. The item slots are used for attacking and for displaying what the characters carry in their hands. Left click on an item to pick it up from the slot and right click to attack with the item. You can change the marching order by dragging a portrait with the left mouse button. So I'm going to want the fighters in front and the mage and rogue in back. Character sheet. Right click on a portrait to, or use the default keyboard shortcuts 1, 2, 3, and 4 to access the character sheets. The equipment, statistics, and skills of a character are displayed on separate tabs. If a character suffers from a special condition such as poisoning or hunger, its effects can be seen on the statistics tab. So that is... Oh, I can't see my mouse. I've lost my mouse. Throw items by dropping them in this area. Okay. Pick up and drop items by clicking th in this area. Operate dungeon mechanisms by clicking on them. Alright. There's my mouse. There we go. So, yep. Grid based. And I can turn with Q and E. Let's see, just test out moving them around. Yep. Now why is that one hot? Oh. Is that one highlighted just because she's a mage? And so that's like magic aura around her. Let's see. Character sheets. Conrad, Montauk, Victor, and Asha. Z. They can go to sleep. Oh no! Wake up! Wake up! Don't do that. We've been asleep long enough. How, why are we in a prison? Weren't we thrown in a thrown into a pit? How do we end up here? Did we imprison ourselves? Were there people at the bottom of the pit that threw us in here? Is there any weapons? Are there any weapons? Oh wait, what's this? 
Can I click that? They're hooks. They used to be a weapon. What's that? A skeleton. That's not good. Okay, there doesn't appear to be anything, any items in here. Can I take the torch? I can! Cool. What's this? Choose your fate. Perish in this cell or pick up the torch. I already did that. So anyone here? There's, um... I don't know where that's leading to. It doesn't appear to be leading anywhere. Don't suppose I can click that. Here. Um, have a torch, Montauk. There's another grate that leads nowhere. Pull! That looks like there was an axe over there. A chain! Let's swing a chain around. No. There's no whiplash in this. That is a cudgel. Um, I would guess that's probably a mace, so here. Give that to the rogue. Let's grab this torch and give that to... Here. <laughs> du dual wielding torches. No, give that to you. I changed my mind. Here. She probably needs her hands to do stuff. Um, what's this? A rock. I have a rock. You throw that. Hmm. I see. This needs weight on it to keep the gate open. So, can you drop the rock? All right. Now, do I actually have to be standing on the grid to do that? No, I don't. Puzzle solved. The turning is a bit awkward. I keep, like, doing that. Grab a torch. All right, now you take a torch because uh, we got a bunch of them. What's this? A brass key. Here, Conrad. What is this, another rock? We, okay, we don't need more torches. To torches? Torches. Brass key, use it on this? Yes. There's another message. What is... Okay, we need a key. Loose rock. Thank you for the clue. So there's a loose rock around here somewhere. Do you see the loose rock? I don't see the loose rock. Loose... Oh, is it the one I'm holding? But what do I do with it? Bash the key? No. Bash through the... No! Give it back. Hmm. Is it on this where I... Click, 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 click. No. Aha! I figured it out. And I use this key. Get through there. We are smart. Oh my god. Hello, Mr. Slug. Uh, snail? Oh, I can't, why did I think that was a slug? Was that open? That. I don't, we don't really have, okay, there we go. 
Now we've got a weapon to kill that snail if he attacks. I don't imagine he would start talking. Ask me to come in to meet the missus in a spot of tea. Uh, I forgot how to attack. Oh, left click, right click. There, oh no, he threw it. He threw it, he threw it. Oh God, I forgot how to attack. I can't, okay. Wait, tutorial. <laughs> Left click on an item to pick it up from the slot and right click to attack with the item. Well, he wasn't attacking. I didn't see him attacking. Okay, let's try again. Left click. Is he dead? No, right click. He missed. Stop. Throw that. Do stuff. Do things. I do a, do a fire thingy. Do stuff. Kill the, kill the damn snail. <laughs>